Oh, okay. People wonder, like, because we've been together almost three years on April 28th, and they wonder one of the things that I love most about Sandra. She knows me so well that she can say, like, seven words and change my day. <laughs> uh, can I tell them the first story about the brief way This is outnumbered over time, by the way. OT, OT baby. baby. And um, um, what was it? Was it uh, married, not blind? Uh, married, not dead, would you say? Uh, Harris is like, I'm talking to Harris. It's one of the first days this show launched. So this was 2014, April 2014. Yeah. We're standing in the breezeway, and I'm having, I think, a pretty serious conversation with Harris. And these two guys walk by, oh. and they were gentlemen looking, very nice looking gentlemen they walked by. They were good looking. And I'm talking eye contact with Harris like this, and her, she was oh, like, I can't <laughs> And I was like, Harris, look here. And she's, not she's like, married, not blind. Oh. <laughs> I remember that right. day. Hammer and I were walking. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should have. Well, so. I, got, I got a call from Matt and my husband, and he goes, well, just don't sit next to Eric on the couch. That was the thing. Whoa. Choking. Choking. Oh. Oh. Hey, buddy. He loves <laughs> Eric. Yeah. He loves no, we're Eric good for the we're, we're You know, the thing That's is, funny. I mean, we talk about our marriages and the rules that we have in our marriages and stuff, and some are written and not written. But some we talk about, some we don't. I just think it's really healthy to to be honest about those, and yeah. that you're. Well, I love the fact that our vice president, that we know that he and his lady, first, second, or otherwise, um, are each other's besties. I have a hard like time I, getting I this chunky talking about that. relationships. Um, you're really good at it. I'm not. Oh, thanks. But I will say this: like the relationship my neighbor has is completely different the way they conduct theirs. Right. Mine. Absolutely. Each their yeah. own. I'm not going to judge. But, but, I always say Harris needs to write a relationship advice book because I started dating my boyfriend who I've been with a year, pushing a year and a half. She gave me great advice in the beginning. Aww. But so I always just you know, I tell my girls. That would shock Sandra after that breezeway. No, you get great advice. I tell my um, girls. I do tell my girls that it's uh, almost exit that interview. your most you important learn decision decision in your life is who you pick as your spouse. Oh, for yeah. most, That will oh, define so your journey. In life. It's it's so true. Crazy. I, I always say that <laughs> the best decision I've ever made in my life. Life was to marry Tony. Oh, that's hands sweet. down. No matter what else I do, oh, I love my Valentine's children. Special? Eric is wow. like, wow. Eric's no, like, okay. Eric's like, drain the swamp. Drain the swamp. <laughs> 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 yeah, we're a political talk about. Okay. Sorry, guys. Eric, how we'll about your new book serious. though? It's gonna drop in June. In June, yeah. Wow. It's, um, did they Photoshop that cover? Or were you? I, I legitimately mean this. Were you like on a soundstage, or were you actually in the swamp? So I took a. There's a photo shoot right over here, about two blocks away. We sent them to the public. Publisher, and they came up with that. It's good. Well, it's you know, very... the swamp, you mean? Yeah, the swamp. Yeah, the, the coolest swamp part. part of this is that I, I, we came up with the idea, and I want to talk about crime, corruption, cronyism in D.C. We'll call it the swamp because Trump's drained the swamp thing. It'd be really cool. And then we found out that the, the Capitol building was built on a literal That's swamp. True. Mm -hmm. It was an actual swamp that they built, and we have all these pictures from way back when in the 18, late 1800s when they built the Capitol on the D.C. swamp. And then I got to tell you, there are so many stories. I have wow. chapter after chapter. They have to cut back now. Did people just to give them to you, or I have a researcher research? who keeps sending me stuff. Um, I won't say give which one. Give us an example. I won't say which one, but there was one of the Netflix HBO Showtime groups that said the book's not even finished being written yet. They said we want an eight, we want a miniseries, do an eight, eight episode miniseries. And I'm like, let me finish the books, and it's it's just it's the right time. But there, but that book is a big deal. But there's a hunger out there, in especially in Middle America, that wanting to read about what happens in the swamp. There's yeah. all these backdoor meetings, That's deals what it's that all happen. About. The I mean, lobby, we saw this with the, the lobbying Democrats deals, and Obama. exactly. The, the lobbying the deals are amazing. The special interests They blow involved. your mind. It's some it of the is. money. And, and, and when you live in when you live in Washington, I mean, we, we're in Virginia, but when you're in that. We're going to say swamp, but in that circle, in that world, it's like they only listen to each other and they lose perspective of what's happening in the rest of America. And that's why, I mean, to President Trump's success, it really is why he tapped into that world and able to say, look, Washington is stuck in this grind and we need to just change it up with something else. How far back historically do you go? All the way back. All the, 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 All the, the way back. We go. Okay. And, and we found that they, you know, with this whole you know, Bill O'Reilly's, you know, killing series. Yes. And, uh, uh, Kill Mead series on, on his, historical historical examples mixed in with current day examples mm -hmm. is what people want to hear about. So the, the point being, it's been going on since the beginning of the, the Republic and it mm. continues t today. Mm. Interesting. Fun, fun uh, stuff. Uh, <laughs> P-Dog118 says, nice to have Mercedes for the first oh. time. Yeah, everybody really yeah. has enjoyed having you. So welcome, well, welcome. You know, I, 
As you were talking about the swamp, I had kind of, it's not a very optimistic thing, but it popped into my head. You know, it's difficult in your own party to kind of go forth, whether you're a Democrat or a Republican. But, but are you worried at all about what's going on inside the Republican Party? I mean, it's not, it's not it's a positive look, a but the president to today laid yeah. down the gauntlet for the most conservative members yeah. in the party. I just don't know where that came. The only thing I can honestly, and I'll be perfectly honest, blunt, um, it feels like this is a Ryan's Priebus, uh, here, put this out because you see if we can get the, the freedom. He need, they need the free, it's, it's a voting block that they need. But Eric, President Trump, what is he, what is so important to him? Loyalty. Right? Oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah. so the loyalty factor, the fact that you had Vice President Pence, Secretary Tom Price, the president meet time and time again with conservative groups that were opposed to the health bill, as well as these Freedom Caucus members, and yet they couldn't agree on the bill? Yeah, because I mean, it, was, it was so he, much he's, political he's, capital he's used personalizing up on his part. that. It wasn't, it wasn't uh, against but, but Donald Trump. It was against Trump. the bill. No, it, was against, it is a per, it's Paul personal. Ryan. Okay, can Eric, I tell you? Can I tell you? No, I'll tell you why it's Paul, personal. Paul Ryan's bill? All right, but guess who supported Paul Ryan's bill? Who was a team well, player? Uh, but but, but Trump. who put Paul Ryan's bill together? Five no, men. They, that part, I would agree Five with Megan on that. Five leadership put that together. Yeah, and the Freedom Caucus wasn't allowed to see the bill before they were supposed to vote on right. it. Well, see, it was not Trump. Right. It was but there Paul were some Ryan side deals. Not there. side deals. That's not the right language. There were some uh, state perspective deals that were cut. We saw, you know, members who were able to get in and, and who were part of the Freedom Caucus get in and get their things taken care of. Ted Poe of Texas didn't feel that. But some others did. They were able to get there. So I'm curious to know why we couldn't have slowed it down. And I do understand that the president said. wanted to get these three pillars, Obamacare, tax reform, and budget. Because you need the first one to be taken care of in order to get some of the money from there to do the two below it. And you know you've got to get something done fast. Because we're, we're edging now into 100 days. I know, but the Democrats took months to get Obamacare done. As they did. Megan, you know this. The legislative process, mm -hmm. it's slow moving. So it's what's like the pressure snail. on the president at this point? Is you it self-imposed or is it real? Uh, I, think, I think it was but, more... Or, or maybe those but, aren't but Can I tell you the political exclusive. irony here, at least for me as someone who I'm not, I don't really consider myself a Paul Ryan conservative and I'm certainly not a Tea, Tea Party Freedom Caucus person, or I haven't been historically is that the Freedom Caucus for a long time were espoused themselves to be the purest, the most conservative, sort of like the heart and soul and the people that hold the feet to the fire of the rest of the establishment. And to have Trump taking shots at them instead of Paul Ryan is a little bit poetic irony, meaning that, mm. you know, they, it's just the last group I would have expected him to target. I wholeheartedly expected him to place the blame on Paul Ryan, which is why, again, from the beginning, I'm not for blaming. I know, I know it's easy to say you're established, mate, you're moderate, you're whatever. We all collectively are on the same side. We all ultimately want the same thing. I think everyone on the couch, no matter what your perspective, wanted repeal and replace more than anything, which is why so many conservatives came together and voted for Trump. So it really is, I'm disheartened and I'm angry at everybody. But Megan, yes. Eric, you brought a good, a good point, which was Ryan Priebus. Who is he very close to? Paul well, <laughs> Ryan. Yeah. So there is that, that relationship. And, and I was actually surprised that Trump didn't go after Paul Ryan. You mm -hmm. think that would have been the blame game. But he is, you know, he's, he's betting on, on Speaker Ryan to push the agenda forward and very disappointed on, you know, you have to remember, President Trump is not a natural conservative. He's not an ideologue. He just wants to get yeah. the job done. But he is done. a deal maker. So why won't they let him do his job? They have because the legislative this, this caucus has a lot of power. Plus, remember there was a number of moderates who didn't Republicans who did not support the bill because okay, they were so not happy on the Medicaid. This is the, un on, this on is the unknown Medicaid secret, in Mercedes. You just hit on it. So everyone's put, placing the blame on the Freedom Caucus. What, 29 members, 30 members? That's right. right. The real number of, of votes that they lost at the, the, at the last minute, and the reason why the bill got pulled really yep. for a vote. Was somewhere around 60. That's right. So there's well, that probably just 30 be them, moderates yeah. who didn't like the bill either, but the Freedom Caucus is, is eating all the blame for it. I, 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 again, I collectively think we could have come together had Paul Ryan not done this in secret and then basically jammed it down so, the throat. Senator Rand Paul of the said the same of, thing from across bicamerally. He was looking. Look, I realize I'm not in the House, but everybody ought but to be able to see this. On bill. a very basic level, it's not how our legislative process is done, which is why I think Eric and I, even though we many times have different perspectives on this, we're collecting confused because it, on a very basic level this is not how government is run is how not how legislation is passed and if we're not if Paul Ryan's gonna say it's my bill and I take my bill and take it and go home nothing is ever going to get done I'll end with this compliment oh shoot I lost it
Oh. But basically, it was. Oh, Jennifer Harper says, Love Eric. Show should have been two hours today with you. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're so great. Oh, oh, we're we're <laughs> uh, Jennifer, we love you. Facebook Live, we love when you watch us there, too. We'll see you back here tomorrow. That's so funny.